Today we're gonna do something a little different. Today we're talking about Mappy Mouse Arcade and three different consoles. Well, this is gonna be a very special video and the slight differences to this game. Let me turn it down a little bit so you guys can hear me. You're basically playing Mappy E Mouse. When you open the door, it'll blow away the pink cats, and you have to jump on trampolines and to save the special items before the cat starts trying to steal them. The trampolines can protect you from harm, which is quite useful. Oh, and opening the doors hurts them. When you complete a stage, you'll end up in a bonus stage collecting balloons. And creating the big balloon. And Guru, the cat, and the other ones are pink cats. Not to mention, this game is actually pretty fun. I only played it once when I was a kid with a joystick. I didn't know what I was supposed to do, but it turns out you have to like, grab all the items before the cats do. But if you jump on the spring on too long, you'll fall into a ballless pit and die. Hey. Nanko does pretty much good games besides Pac-Man and other weird games besides q -Bird. Oh wait, that's a different company. But that's the point of this game, you're just going through all these stages trying to get high score. There's minor differences to this game that came out in 1984-1980. Wait, did I say 84? Actually, it did, came out in early time in 1983, so this is an old arcade game for young kids to to play uh, Officer Mouse. There are slight differences to this game to or the other ones. What's so different about these games? Well, let's find out. Because all the stages will always look the same. Now let's look at the NES. Just give me a second. Well, here's the NES. The backgrounds are a little different than the arcade. So is the sound effects. The game does play exactly the same. Aim. You. Make pretty good progress doing the same thing. Colors are different since it's an old video game from the 80s, from 1985 or 86, whenever this game came out. I never had the chance to play like same, some of the older games when I was younger. Also, Gurgle likes to hide in most places. This, and the camera says to play hide and go see, which is both fun and very tragic. Anyhow. Hey, this is all you do in this game is just get the items as quickly as possible. All before it's too late. Or when you die, you have to start all over again. Nothing different about this one. This plays basically the same. And now to show the game gear. Here's the game gear. This one's from 1991. As you can tell, this is pretty up close to the design of the game. The Game Gear, or 
makes a pretty good musical soundtrack. Well, every time it makes that ding 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 sounds like a ringing bell. There's not too many differences about these games. Always redoing the same game over and over again, on the go or at home. Overall, this game is fun. And if you're playing the same game over and over again. But, like, differences, even though you had to grab the bell, which I forgot to mention, you had to drop on them. Or when they hear the timer go off, you will probably take too long and you'll eventually die. So, oh, I give this game, and, well, the original arcade one. I'm from its wonderful goriness of perfectly good graphics. And it's the arcade one, a 7 out of 10, the NES, the same. The Game Gear, if it wasn't too close, else I give it 6 out of 10. So both of the, all three of these games play exactly the same. In Japan, they do change in these games, including Mappy Land, where he doesn't wear a hat for some reason. But you get at how this game works. You do this, do that. You do the same old stick over and over again. But if you like to spend and put quality time playing platforming games or playing in a cartoon mouse that's like uh, next to that's up in a mall cop up in like the Tom and Jerry cartoon for some reason. This game is for you to enjoy playing. Anyways, I'll catch you all when I talk about another stranger, most weird or games in the future, or in the arcades, that only had like two or three games, each of them. So, see you all in the next video. This is Eli signing out. Goodbye! See ya!